We'll start this video with the lighting off because this is actually an illuminated picture and these were all the rage for a while until it was found out that many of them would just burst into flames themselves so that's worth exploring inside. So I'm going to plug this in and it's worth mentioning I have not plugged this in yet uh, other than the last time I used it which was decades ago so I'm not sure if it's going to work. We'll find out what happens. Maybe there'll be a loud bang. Oh it's making noises. It's not lit up. Oh, oh, no, there it goes. Oh, it's moving and everything. So, uh, right, tell you what, let's try and uh, take the exposure off and we can see what that looks like. It's not bad, is it? It's actually giving the good effect. Okay. Right here, uh, I'm going to uh, pause the video briefly but, and I'm going to take the glass off the front because that's how it comes off. There's a fixing at each corner of the mirror. So I'll do that right now. One moment, please. Okay, the glass is now unscrewed. Are you ready for the big reveal? Let's lift this off carefully and refresh myself. Actually, very different to how we remember it for some bizarre reason. Right, I'll just put the glass down to the side here. Is that bright enough? Uh, I think it is. So what do we have here? We've got, this is just the wrong location for this, right? I'm going to turn it sideways like this. That's probably the best bet. Is it the best bet? I'm not really sure. This is, this is just not, not fitting very well, is it, right? To, give me a moment. I'm just going to try and get it into a good position. Okay, this is better. I'm standing on a seat now <laughs> with the camera up a lot higher. So what we have inside, behind here, we've got a fluorescent tube. And this is a little conveyor belt. And uh, it's got this sort of the ripple pattern of the falling water on it. But there's two layers, effectively. There's one layer at one side, one at the other. And there's also these little wires stretched across the springs. I don't know what they're for. Um, is it just to stop it bowing out too much or touching the glass? I'm not really sure. Uh, but the bottom bit here... It's also a conveyor, but it's also got a fixed layer that doesn't move down here, and it's got the moving layer behind it. And also, there's a metal reflector at the bottom that catches the light coming out the sideways from the fluorescent light and projects it up. And likewise, inside, there's paper in here, and this is probably why these things used to burst into flames. At this side, we've got a motor that drives both the rollers. It drives this roller here and this roller here, and we've got a ballast up here, traditional hot running uh, ballast on a shriveled plastic housing. Yeah, it's shriveled. That's, that may actually suggest that that has also been suffering thermal issues in the short time I've, I ran this. Oh, freaky. Maybe it was one out of the shop display or something like that. Not sure. And there's a classic Philips starter, right? Tell you what, I'll turn it on so you can see it all running. I'll just jump off the seat here and flick that switch. So there we have it. You, you get quite a strong plasticky noise inside it. So this is the waterfall effect with the two layers of in, interfering with each other. Like a, a traditional um, distortion uh, discs that you'd go, get from companies like OptKinetics. And here's the one that provides the rippling water effect, which is, well, it's got that uh, layer underneath which has a row of lines, but then a diagonal lines painted on. It looks kind of almost like hand-painted. These might be hand-painted onto the plastic. But I wonder if these uh, cause problems with the um, the plastic just breaking, because it looks like it's almost just sellotaped together with plastic tape diagonally, just to, so it kind of doesn't all go over at once and jam. Um, but when I put the picture cover back on, I'm just going to make sure I don't stuff my hands into electrical connections here. Here's the the picture, and then that uh, gives that effect, the sort of rippling water at the bottom, plus the, uh, the sort of waterfall effect at the top when you place it over the front. It's quite a good visual effect, but it is noisy. Oh, this is upside down. One moment. That will make more sense. 
Yeah, there we go. There's the waterfall and there's the rippling water at the bottom. But these things, they, they sold a lot of them before it was discovered that there might be issues, particularly with uh, their use in hot areas and the fact they were very combustible and there were hot components in them and there were apparently issues with some of them just going up in smoke. But there we have it. Um, the illuminated, is it a, what, what would you call this, a diorama picture? The motion picture, not sure, but that's what's inside. It's a very, very crude mechanism. Fluorescent tube behind and a couple of conveyor belts with sort of patterns and the ballast and the starter and the motor. And that is it. Quite an interesting thing.